this. They just keep coming. Oh, oh, oh. Go inside! Get inside! Get inside! Get inside! Get your health down! Let's go! Light him up! Go inside now! Get, inside. Get in the hell! Alright you guys, so this is um a video that my friend sent me from Minnesota. Of course, on the news, they are cleaning up after last night here in Charleston. Um, let's see if we can let's see. Let's go to the news. Because they're live right now. Chief Luther Reynolds, they are both in that area. If you can uh, talk to us now with the mayor. Yeah, Aisha, we have Mayor John Tecklenburg who is joining us this morning. A lot of people I spoke with today who are out on the streets helping to clean up and recover after what happened last night, saying that Charleston is unrecognizable of King Street, and they're saying they've never seen something like this before. How are you feeling waking up this morning knowing what happened last night? Well, it was a sad night in Charleston last night and across the country. Uh, we were not exempt from a wave of, of violence and protests that was all across the United States. Uh, fortunately, there was no serious injury or loss of life, so we count our blessings for that. And um, and despite the damage, uh, I'm thankful to our police and fire department. Um, there were no major fires. The fire department was there whenever um, a cocktail was thrown, and uh, and and promptly put 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 any fires out, which prevented any. Uh, huge property damage. That being said, lots of glass broken. There was significant looting occurred, um, civil unrest, and it's intolerable. And um, we will not let that happen to get again. Um, more forces will be brought to bear this evening and for the foreseeable future. And um, and Chief, Chief uh, Reynolds can address that as well. But I, I got to shout out and thank the citizens of Charleston. They're they're coming out, they're cleaning up. We're 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 in this together, and we'll be even stronger and cleaner than before. I know it was a bad night last night, but uh, we're rebounding. Yeah, I heard you just say more for. All right, you guys. So there was people spray spray painting um, statues. There were people that. Um, broke into, you know, downtown Charleston uh, businesses. They went into people's car garages. Um, they, um, it started off peacefully. Let's see. Okay, so this is how it started off. Okay. These people right here were peace, protesting peacefully. And then in the night... In the night, okay, even the 
This is seven o'clock last night, six fifty. Even the mayor was saying how some of these people weren't from here. Okay, it had a few bad apples. This is how it started. It started out last night. I was taking pictures. This is nine o'clock last night. Not sure if any volume could be heard. They broke into the news van. I can't hear the volume on this. Um, that's a helicopter. Our weatherman was down there, downtown Charleston, having anniversary dinner um, with his wife. And he acts, you know, he just happened to be in the middle of it. I guess he was at some upscale restaurant, okay, downtown. He just happened to be, he, he went from celebrating his anniversary to reporting live, okay? And I woke up this morning, he's still, you know, he went back down there, I guess, to help. Um, people are downtown cleaning. Apparently, they sprayed statues, um, busted windows, some of that stuff. They were breaking into businesses, like the Walgreens and um, car garages. I'm curious to see what statues and stuff they they sprayed. The noose just went off. Tear gas, okay. See the news reporter? They moved them out of there. They moved them out of there around the time of the curfew because things were getting ugly, but they still had the weatherman down there. Uh, by himself, but they couldn't keep him, uh, um, he couldn't stay, he couldn't stay, okay? She ain't built for this, she was kind of scary, okay? Why on Sunday morning they got people with masks from like the 1900s and stuff? Wow, I gotta watch this. The police, riot police. This guy punched a hole. I think this was the Bennett Hotel. This is like the newest hotel down, down there. They watched this man throw a brick in there. Look, look at the news van. Crazy man. I'll come back and um make some more videos. Hopefully, let me catch up on the news. I just woke up, you guys. Unimaginable. Meanwhile, you had the the mayor saying we got a few bad actors down here. He know that some of them people is not from Charleston. You guys, we had Walter Scott shooting. And we had uh, the Charleston Emanuel 9. The word, all that action that I showed you guys, this was literally a half a block from the Emanuel um, Church site, okay? We had peaceful protests here for the Emanuel 9 shooting, okay? I remember it was, it was very sobering to see people come from all over the country, and join and stand with us against the racism that took place here. Um, we, during that time, which reminds me of the dream update I just put out about the protests and the fires being set. We, we all peacefully took a walk across the bridge hand in hand together, united as one. Yes, I understand the, um... Well, here in Charleston, we just didn't take that approach, okay? We have enough. I mean, for goodness sake, we got the slave plantation, uh, the slave market downtown, okay? But people came from all over the country um, during the Charleston Emanuel 9 shooting, okay? And Walter Scott, they didn't, they played the video over and over, but not so much um, how, not so much 
to the not so much to show how he got shot during the video, okay, and killed. This George Floyd video, they keep showing him, you know, seconds before his death, I think is just stirring the pot, you guys. As the family, I would be asking that that wouldn't be so. I got to watch the Sunday morning news because they, they got people from the 50s and the 30s and the 60s wearing masks. I want to know what the story is about. All right, you guys, I just woke up. Not... It was, you could see people, um, like the wildlings, down downtown. Some of them dress up like the Taliban. <laughs> it was uh, bad. And I'm just curious to see what statues they spray painted, okay? All right, um, people are help outside right now cleaning up. I just seen a lady on the news. She said she's from Mount Pleasant, which is where I live, um, right across the bridge, okay, helping to clean up the neighborhoods. Um, they went further than the downtown district. Apparently, also, they had in um, uh, Somerville, the town of Somerville, which is 30 miles away from downtown, they had uh, people fighting each other. Um it was a hot mess last night. Not too bad. Not bad. Like we seen in Minnesota, like we seen in that video. People don't understand that they, them not peacefully protesting um, is going to bring in the military. That was signed in the first, um, in the first stimulus package, you guys, for Trump to be able to activate how many military I think it was three point something or one point something million active military if he needed it to help in coronavirus. Y'all don't remember that? I have to find the um the story or the meme that I saved, okay? <sighs> I'll talk with you later, you guys.